weighted average per pet wall or popularly known as the moving average method. So kapag periodic, weighted average. Kapag per pet wall, weighted average. And popularly known siya as moving average method. Under this method, a new weighted average unit cost must be computed after every purchase. Such new weighted average unit cost is, mul is then multiplied by the units on hand to get the inventory cost. So unlike siya ng weighted average periodic where in isang beses lang tayo nag-compute ng weighted average unit cost, kapag weighted average perpetual, a new weighted average unit cost must be computed after every purchase. So, ibig sabihin, for every purchase transaction, magkukompute tayo ng weighted average unit cost. So, to illustrate yung moving average method, so ito yung problem na ginamit natin sa FIFO at sa weighted average periodic. Ngayon, so solve natin siya, same requirement. Compute the following using the moving average method. Ending inventory as of January 31 and cost of sales for the month of January. I-treat mo sila as a group, not as individual. Okay, so basic sir. Dito ka ma-challenge. 5, 6, and 7. Mas challenging yan. 5, 6, and 7. Kalamba Review Center Laguna is offering online CPA review. So as if na nakaupo ka sa classroom and yung prof mo nagle-lecture, nagsosolve siya sa board. And ikaw naman may hawak kang handouts ni LCRC, nagsusulat at nagte-take down ng notes. The quality of video and audio na pinakita namin dito is different from LCRC's online CPA review. Mas malinaw ang audio and video ng sa LCRC. For more information about LCRC's online CPA review, pakibasa na lang ng nakalagay sa description box below. Gawin na natin siya. So, maglalagay tayo sa ating cost flow ng units. Then, unit cost. Then, total cost. Okay. Then, nandito yung um, date. So, ito ay January 1. Beginning. beginning ang beginning quantity ay 16k units costing 140 total cost is 2.24 million then purchase January 5 ang transaction ay purchase quantity is 4,000 at 150 per unit total cost is 600,000 okay balikan natin yung defin yung uh, explanation ng moving average a new weighted average unit cost must be computed after every purchase now since nagkaroon tayo ng purchase transaction magko-compute tayo ng weighted average unit cost so, total, 16 plus 4, 20,000. 2.24 million plus 600, that is 2,840,000. So, paano mag-compute ng weighted average unit cost? 
total goods available for sale pesos divided by total goods available for sale in units. 2.84 million divided by 20,000 that is 142 pesos. Next, January 10, sale. Okay, sale. So, 15,000 siya ay pabawas. Ngayon, magkano ang unit cost na ilalagay natin kapag sale transaction? Okay, kapag merong sale transaction, kung ano yung recent na weighted average unit cost, yon yung i-charge natin as cost of sales per unit. So, sa case na to, ang weighted average unit cost ay 142. Kung ano yung latest average unit cost, yun yung magiging cost of sales per unit natin kapag nagkaroon ng sale transaction. 15,000 times 142 that is 2,130,000 balance. Ah, sorry. Total. It must be total pala. Sorry. Although, pwede rin naman na balance. Total, 5,142. Then, 2.84 minus 2.13 that is 710,000. Next transaction. So after ng sale purchase ulit January 15. Purchase na 20,000 at 160 per unit. That is 3,200,000. Total units is 25,000. Total cost is 710 plus 3.2 million. That is 3,910,000 Okay, may purchase transaction So, magko-compute ulit tayo ng weighted average unit cost 3.91, you divided by 25,000 That is 156.40 So, pansin natin na for every transaction nag update tayo ng um balance ng quantity and balance ng or balance expressed in pesos. So, for every transaction, whether purchase or sale, kapag moving average method. Next, purchase return. 16 purchase return that is 1,000 so, pabawas. Costing 160. 160,000 total cost. Then, total. Total, after purchase return, sa quantity ay 24,000 units. Sa total cost is 3.91 million minus 160,000. That is 3.75 million. Okay. So, magko-compute ulit tayo ng weighted average unit cost. Kasi nagkaroon ng purchase transaction. Which is purchase return naman. So, pag may purchase return transaction, so, magkukumpute ulit tayo ng weighted average unit cost. 3.75 million divided by 24,000. That is 156.25 pesos. 
Next, sale. January 25. Sale transaction. Na, 8,000. Okay. Remember, kapag may sale transaction, ang cost of sales per unit na is kung ano yung latest weighted average unit cost. So, sa case na to, ang latest ay 156.25. Ayan. Total cost of sales is 8,000 times 156.25. That is one million twenty-five. Ah, one million two hundred fifty thousand. Then total twenty-four minus eight sixteen. Here we are. Three point seventy-five minus one point twenty-five. That is two point five million. Weighted average unit cost is one hundred fifty-six point. Twenty-five. Next, sale return. January twenty-six, nagkaroon ng sale return na four thousand. Okay, kapag sale return, so same treatment siya ng sale kung ano yung latest na weighted average unit cost. Doon din siya i-charge. So, sa case na to, 156.25. Total sale return is 625,000. Total, 20,000 units. 2.5 million plus 625,000. That is 3 million One hundred twenty-five thousand. Unit cost is one hundred fifty-six point twenty-five. Next transaction, January thirty-one. Purchase thirty thousand units. Cost per unit niya is 150. Total cost niya is, yung total cost nito, 4.5 million. 4.5 million. Total quantity is 50,000 units. Total cost of inventory is seven million six hundred twenty-five thousand. Okay, nagkaroon ng purchase, so magkukompute na tayo ng weighted average unit cost. Seven point six two five million divided by fifty thousand. That is one hundred fifty two point five pesos. Okay, next. So, tapos na yung transaction. So, inventory as of January 31. Ang sagot ay, edi ito, 7,625,000 pesos. Okay, next. Cost of sales for the month of January. Cost of sales under moving average method. So, we have beginning inventory of 2.24 million net purchases. So, same siya ng FIFO weighted average. That is 8 million 140,000. Total goods available for sale is 10 million 380,000. Less ending inventory, which is seven million six hundred twenty-five thousand. Cost of goods sold 
under moving average method is 10.38 minus 7,625,000 that is 2,755,000 Final answer for number 2, cost of sales is 2,755,000.